Hey guys, today I want to discuss Linux usage stats. In particular, I want to discuss metrics uh, for measuring Linux distro popularity. Uh, I get a lot of guys and gals who claim that distro A is more popular than distro B because of insert whatever metric you want to use and that's usually flawed uh, because there are no good metrics out there for measuring Linux distro popularity they're just they're, there's no good ones uh, there's no real way to accurately measure the popularity of each distro out there now that being said I mean obviously <clears throat> we can make some pretty educated decisions about you know distros that we know for sure are popular and distros that we can be fairly certain nobody's ever heard of and nobody runs but you can't really pin it down to exact numbers there's just no way to do that uh, no one knows how many installs of Fedora for example uh, are out there in the wild uh, only Fedora would have some idea of how many people are actually connecting to their repos you know and pulling down updates but even that isn't completely accurate. What about people that install Fedora on a machine? Maybe they borrowed a disk, a live disk from somebody else. They install Fedora. They never do an update. They don't even bother connecting to the repos. You know, so it, there's no way to ever really get an accurate count of, you know, your distro's popularity. So that being said, I'm going to go over a few metrics that some people like to quote and I'm going to give you the strengths of those metrics and the weaknesses of those me metrics so let's get started by far the most often quoted Linux distro popularity metric that's quoted is distro watches page hit rankings distro watches page hit rankings although a lot of people like to spout them off as being factual are easily the worst metric you can go by to measure Linux distro popularity because distro watches page hit rankings as the name suggests all it does is measure page hits to each distros individual distro watch page let me show you what that means so mint which is number one here in the distro watch page hit rankings let me click Mint here, and it's going to go to Mint's Distro Watch page. That just counted as one hit for Linux Mint's page today. And I could have clicked any other distro. Each time I do that, it's going to count it as a hit, right? So, what does that tell you about Linux Mint's you know, popularity as a distro? It really tells you nothing. Uh, as a matter of fact, this metric is so bad and it's so easy to gain I could if I wanted to create my own Linux distro today I mean I could just whip up something any respin of you know Ubuntu or SUSE or whatever put it out there on the net right and then with a little SEO internet marketing magic you know have you know my uh, new distro I'll call it Joe Bob's Linux distro uh, start ranking high in Google search results for some popular search term it may not even be Linux related search terms you know but I get people clicking that link and that link goes to Joe Bob's Linux distros distro watch page you know if I get a couple of thousand people doing that a day all of a sudden I'm number one in distro watches page hit rankings you know and nobody's using my Linux distro me and maybe three of my friends you know and all of a sudden I'm outranking you know Ubuntu which probably has for sure it has tens of millions of installs out there probably hundreds of millions of installs you know and I could be at the top of page of distro watches page hit rankings within a week you know with the right kinda SEO strategy so distro watches page hit rankings are just terrible uh, they have nothing to do with Linux popularity at all. Let me uh, demonstrate 
what I'm talking about here. Let me do a Google search for Ubuntu. Ubuntu, uh, even though I've, I mentioned we don't have good metrics for Linux distro popularity, anybody with any sense knows Ubuntu is by far the most popular Linux distro on the desktop. It just is. I mean, when you see Linux out in the wild, nine times out of ten, it's Ubuntu. Uh, pretty much everybody that starts out in Linux, at some point you've probably installed Ubuntu, even if you've never lived in Ubuntu, you know, there's a lot of Ubuntu installs out there. Anyway, I'm going to Google Ubuntu. And the first thing in Google's search ranking uh, results here is uh, Ubuntu.com, of course, and then various links from the Ubuntu website, you know, where to download the distro. Then Wikipedia's Ubuntu page is the second highest ranked. Then you've got Ubuntu Budgie's homepage is the third highest ranked for the Ubuntu search term. And you got Ubuntu in the Microsoft Store as the fourth highest ranked uh, page for the term Ubuntu. That's interesting. Facebook is on here. Ubuntu GNOME is on here. So on, on the first page of Google search results, you do not have the uh, distro watch page for Ubuntu. You, you can't find it. I go to the second page of the results and about halfway down you finally find Ubuntu's distro watch page. And I can tell you from experience very few people ever make it to the second page of search results. If you're not on the first page your page is never getting clicked and really if you're not really in the top three of the search results your page is never getting clicked. So no one is really going to the distro watch Ubuntu page you know from Google search results. Now let me do Linux Mint. Alright the first link of course is linuxmint.com. What is the second search result? distrowatch.com's Linux Mint page. So more often than not when somebody searches for Linux Mint in Google they're, they're going to have an opportunity to click this distro watch page going to Linux Mint. When somebody does a search for Ubuntu, uh, unless they're going really deep in the search results, they're not going to see distro watch's page for Ubuntu. That is why a distro like Linux Mint is number one in distro watch's page hit rankings. It has nothing to do with popularity or anything like that. No, Installs, downloads, nothing. It has nothing. All it has to do is what I just showed you here: Google search results. And uh, this is easy to game. As I said, I could build my own distro, and I could rank pretty highly for various search results pretty quickly. Especially if I put a little money behind it, I could be number one in Distro Watch's page hit rankings within a couple of weeks. And. Uh, as I said, anybody that's been around Linux for a little while, uh, you see what people are using out there in real life. Those of you that see uh, uh, people running Linux, you know, out in the real world, but even out on the internet, you know, if you're on a lot of forums and chat rooms and, and such. Uh, I don't think anybody really believes that Linux Mint is the most popular Linux distro on the desktop. To be honest, it's probably not even in the top ten. You know, which makes, which really points to why distro watch rankings are, are pretty horrible. There's no way that Linux Mint has more installs out there than Debian, which is, is ranked number two in this list. There's no way. And Ubuntu, which is number four in the distro watch page hit rankings, again, Ubuntu probably is the number one Linux distro on the desktop in terms of popularity, several times over to the second place distro whatever that distro might be and I have some opinions on what maybe the second place distro would be but Ubuntu outpaces all others for sure and it's all the way down at number four in the rankings you know Fedora is probably a top three or four distro on the desktop by popularity distro watch has it ranked all the way at seven Arch Linux very popular Linux distro 13 in the distro watch page hit rankings what are some of the distros ahead of Arch Linux? Zorin. Does anybody really believe there's more installs of Zorin out there than Arch Linux? I don't believe that. Uh, Ubuntu Mate. Ubuntu Mate may be the most popular Ubuntu flavor other than mainline Ubuntu. Maybe. 
It's hard to say, but Ubuntu Mate gets a lot of good press and a lot of people live in Ubuntu Mate. Ubuntu Mate is ranked 27th in the DistroWatch page hit rankings. Zubuntu is all the way down at 34. Does anybody really think there are 33 other Linux distros out there that are more popular than Zubuntu? So distro watch page hit rankings are, are complete garbage. Uh, people really should just stop quoting them uh, because again they they don't really measure anything that matters. Uh, OMG Ubuntu recently had an article that they posted. Uh, Ubuntu is still more popular than Britney Spears. Now what this was was uh, the guy here at uh, OMG Ubuntu, Joey, Joey Snedden, he put in uh, some Google Trends here for, I guess, search results for what people are searching over time. And he did a comparison of Ubuntu, Fitbit, Amazon Echo, and Britney Spears. Ubuntu was by far the most popular term searched. Uh, well ahead of Fitbit and several times ahead of Britney Spears, but Britney Spears really hasn't been relevant in a long time, so that's not surprising that Ubuntu is more popular than Britney Spears. A more interesting comparison was Ubuntu compared to other Linux distros, and uh, it really doesn't matter what Linux distro you put in Google Trends. Ubuntu, again, I mentioned Ubuntu outpaces all other Linux distros on the desktop by far as far as installs. I mean, we just know that. And it, when you do Google uh, Trends here for search results, for search terms, you know, it pans out that way. Ubuntu, you know, its chart line is right here near 100, right? And then everything else, any other Linux distro you plug in is going to just be a flat line at or near zero, pretty much. And they compared Ubuntu against Fedora, Linux Mint, Kubuntu and Zubuntu and uh, you can see the results and again it doesn't matter what Linux distro you plug in uh, they're all gonna be right here at the bottom in a flat line and Ubuntu is gonna be way way ahead of it so anybody telling you that Ubuntu is not the most popular Linux distro on the desktop they uh, they're either they have some kind of agenda and know they're lying or they could be just ignorant to you know some of the facts a lot of people really believe the distro watch page hit rankings because they don't really they have no idea what search engine optimization or internet marketing are so they're not really privy to you know how the distro watch page hit rankings work how they can be gamed so so I mentioned Google search is is a decent metric for measuring Linux popularity at least at least it measures what people are interested in you know, if people, a lot of people are searching for Ubuntu and Google, you know, a lot of people are interested in Google, I mean, in Ubuntu. It still tells you nothing about install base, but, you know, if they're searching for, for a distro, then they're probably installing it or running it, so. It's something to go on. A more accurate metric to go by, for years I used to look at the Wikimedia traffic analysis report. This report it has been discontinued. They discontinued doing this report a couple of years ago, but for a while, every month, Wikimedia would put out uh, operating system stats every, every single month. Uh, you know, which operating systems viewed Wikimedia pages, uh, and it broke it down, you know, by distro, version number, you know, and Wikimedia serves enough pages to the internet where this was a pretty good metric. I mean, we're talking about billions of page views, right? So if Ubuntu, for example, gets 20 times more page views than the next Linux distro that's counted in Wikimedia, then you can say, yeah, Ubuntu is, is the most popular desktop Linux distro out there. And I, and I say, you know, Ubuntu 20 times more popular than the next one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's correct on this month here that I'm looking at. I'm looking at uh, June of 2015. This was the last time this report was published. But I do know uh, 
four or five years ago when I was viewing this report kind of regularly, Ubuntu was always at least 10 times more popular than like the next Linux distro that was counted. Uh, at least, you know, as long as the Linux distro wasn't Linux other. You know, they always have this Linux other category. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, maybe it can't determine what distro that particular Linux distro is, but Ubuntu is always 10, 15, sometimes as high as 20 times uh, higher than the next, you know, popular Linux distro, which was usually Fedora, and, and most of those months, usually Fedora, sometimes Debian. Linux Mint, nowhere to be found for the most part. Uh, let me see. I, like I said, I actually haven't looked at this. I just pulled this up. This was the very last month they kept these stats. Breakdown per platform for Mac and Linux. And this is maybe a little small on this video for you guys to view. I'm zooming this in a little bit. Anyway, you have Linux Android at 15%, Mac Intel 5.3%. You know, those pretty normal numbers for Mac. Everybody assumes Mac probably has 5 6% of the desktop market share. Linux Other, again, this is a weird category. I'm not sure what Linux Other is. Might be Chrome OS. I, I don't know. 0.84%, uh, so just under 1% for that particular distro or collection of distros. And then Linux Ubuntu. It's uh, got 1.2 billion page views in Wikimedia for this month. 1.2 billion people using Ubuntu, or at least 1.2 billion page views from people using Ubuntu. That's a gigantic number, right? Uh, that's 0.48% of everybody that viewed uh, Wikimedia pages. So think about that. Point, basically 0.5%. Half a percent of people that viewed Wikimedia were running Ubuntu. That's crazy. I mean, who, who would have thought that number would be that high? And again, the next uh, most popular Linux distro, according to Wikimedia here, is Fedora, which is, like I said, been kind of normal in these when they were keeping these stats up to date. Fedora only had 53.6 million page views compared to 1.2 billion from Ubuntu. Uh, that percentage, by the way, is 0.02%. And then from there, it drops. You know, everything else is at 0.00%. And we're talking single digit, you know, in the millions of page, page views. And then really, once you get past Mandriva and Red Hat, you get into the, some of the more obscure Linux distros. I mean, you're talking t tens of thousands of page views compared to 1.2 billion from Ubuntu. So these were actually really good stat reports, these Wikimedia traffic analysis reports. I wish they still did the operating system report, but as you can imagine, you know, it took a lot of effort to uh, do one of these every month, and it looks like due to a lack of maintenance, Wikimedia just gave up keeping track with these. It's a shame. So you guys are probably wondering, what's the point of this video? What inspired me to make it? Well, you guys know I recently decided to install Manjaro KDE on my main machine here. You guys that have been following the channel. So I installed Manjaro's KDE on my main production machine here at home the other day. And I signed up as a member of the Manjaro forums, right? You know, went ahead and joined the community since I'm going to be living in Manjaro for a while. And I noticed a post on the Manjaro forums from a guy. His username on the Manjaro forums is user underscore Z. So user Z. He broke down each Linux distro, their popularity based on forum numbers. You know, registered members, topics and threads, and posts. And I don't think that that is particularly uh, an accurate way of measuring distro popularity but I don't hate it. I don't hate it as a metric. It's definitely a better metric than something like page hit rankings which again the distro watch rankings are complete garbage. They tell you nothing. But I'm not sure if this is a better metric than say Google keyword search results. Um, but it's, it's not horrible. It's something to go on and, and I actually found these results interesting. I have done something similar in the past and in years past where I would uh, take a look at the activity of forums, IRC chat channels, you know, and, and see uh, what kind of activity is going on in those support channels because that does tell you a little bit about the interest in the distro, 
install base. Uh, anyway, he breaks it down. He has a, a lot of these here. If you break it down by number of registered members, uh, wow, it looks like the Ubuntu forms, if I'm reading this correctly, have two million members. Yeah, he's got it broken down uh, in terms of how many members in the thousands. So this would be, yeah, a little over two million registered users at the Ubuntu forms. The next most popular distro, if you're basing it on registered members for, and their forms, would be Fedora at 156,000 members. So that actually kind of mimics Wikimedia's traffic analysis reports as Ubuntu by far being the most popular Linux distro on the desktop. And it, it outpaces its second place competitor, which again is Fedora. It was also Fedora in Wikimedia's reports. You know, about 12 to 1 it looks like in this case. Yeah, I mean that's that's, that's just the reality of it folks. Uh, interesting third place, Gentoo, 149,000 Gentoo members, you know, uh, registered members on their forms. Most of you are probably shocked at that. I'm a little less shocked. I uh, have been playing around with Gentoo for a number of years. I've played around with a lot of Gentoo based distros. Uh, I've installed a few Gentoo based distros on this channel, you know, in some of my reviews too. Uh, and I've used the Gentoo forms, you know. I see the activity that goes on in the Gentoo forms. It has a very large community, very active community. Uh, also, this is about forum membership, but I mentioned IRC chat rooms. If I go to an IRC chat room, say for Ubuntu, I go to one of the Ubuntu IRC support channels, there's going to be, you know, like 1,400 people probably in it. There's going to be a lot of people in it, a lot of activity, a lot of conversation going on, a lot of people asking for help and receiving help. Very active support channel. By far the most active Linux support channel, Ubuntu. You go to some of these other Linux distros that are way down the list, you go to their IRC chat, client, uh, ch chat channel, no one's in it. It's a ghost town. There's tumbleweeds rolling around in that, that channel. Uh, Ubuntu always has well over a thousand people usually in their support channel. Interesting enough, Gentoo. I go to a Gentoo IRC support channel. There's usually over a thousand people in the Gentoo support channels. If I fired it up right now, you know, it wouldn't be unusual for there to be 11, 1200 people in the Gentoo IRC channel right now. So I, I see the activity that goes on in Gentoo, uh, where a lot of you guys, unless you're running Gen 2 or playing around in Gen 2, uh, you, you're probably not seeing that. Uh, all you see is like things like the distro watch page hit rankings, which definitely underrepresent Gen 2. Gen 2, I, I already closed the uh, tab I had distro watch open on, but Gen 2 was way down the list. It was somewhere in the 20s or 30s, very underrepresented. Gen 2 is a much more popular Linux distro than being 30 something or whatever Gentoo was on the distro watch page hit rankings list. I mentioned also Arch was probably underrepresented too. So again those are more geeky uh, Linux enthusiast kind of distros Arch and Gentoo. Uh, maybe that has something to do with why they're underrepresented in the distro watch page hit rankings list. I don't know that's just speculation on my part. Uh, Arch Linux ranks very high on the forum uh, rankings list here. It's got 84.5 thousand members. Now some of you are going to complain this guy's rankings here of registered members at forums. Well of course Gen2 and Arch are going to have a lot of forum members because of how difficult or non-user friendly those distros can be. You know you have to register at those forums to get support because you need support for those distros. You know they're hard distros to run. I guess there's something to be said about that, uh, but but I think that's overstating it a little bit. I mean, no matter what Linux distro you're running, eventually you're going to need support, and you're probably going to register at their forums anyway. So I don't, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't overstate that fact too much. This guy made some really nice graphs too here in LibreOffice. Here's a graph showing you uh, total registered forum members of Linux distros. The blue here in this circle that's Ubuntu. And here's everybody else. 
uh, when he makes a graph and takes Ubuntu out, out of it, because Ubuntu, again, outpaces all others several times over, take Ubuntu out of the graph. Here's Fedora. Here's Gentoo. So the blue is Fedora, the red is Gentoo. The yellow here is Linux Mint, and the green here is Arch Linux, and then they gradually get smaller. Anyway, pretty cool list. Uh, thank you, User Z. User Z on the Manjaro forums. This is uh, was real interesting. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know how accurate it is. You know how it measures Linux distro popularity, but you know, interesting nonetheless. Anyway, that's my little rant on Linux distro popularity and you know all the bad metrics for measuring such. Uh, again, really, there's no good metrics out there. By far the worst is DistroWatch page hit rankings. Complete garbage. They should not be quoted in any articles, forum posts, blogs. DistroWatch it, it's just horrible. Their page hit rankings list anyway. I love the DistroWatch website, but page hit rankings are, are, are not accurate. Not an accurate way of measuring distro popularity at all. But again, there's no real good metrics out there. Uh, the Google search result metric is probably the best one. Um, so what do we know? Well, even though there's no good metrics out there, there's one thing you can be sure of. Ubuntu is by far the most popular Linux distro on the desktop, several times over to its next competitor. We know that. I mean, it, that's just a fact. Uh, and for some reason, some of you out there can't handle that. I see posts on forums all the time about, hey, hey, this distro is more popular than Ubuntu, that distro is more popular than Ubuntu, the distro I'm currently on right now is more popular and distro watches seven day rankings than Ubuntu right now, so, you know, we must have more installs than Ubuntu. Uh, no, no, uh, don't kid yourself, don't lie to yourself. I don't know why you need to lie to yourself uh, in that regard anyway. Uh, just because Ubuntu has more installs than whatever distro you're currently running doesn't make your distro a bad distro doesn't make Ubuntu a good distro it really doesn't tell you anything about the quality of the distro it just means Ubuntu is more popular and that's it uh, it doesn't mean that whatever distro you're currently running if it's not Ubuntu is you know a bad distro or that you shouldn't be running it or whatever it just it means Ubuntu is more popular that's that's all it tells you and you guys should be good with that, uh, regardless of what distro you're running. You know, let's let's try to stick to facts, though. Uh, I see too much misinformation out there, uh, and sometimes I I even see it in like legit news articles, like on tech websites. I see people, you know, like pulling these distro watch numbers, you know, out of their rear end and and spouting them like like it's the gospel, and it's not. And a lot of these tech writers know they're not. The other thing, uh, a lot of you users of community Linux distros, so I'm talking about you guys running something that's not Ubuntu, not SUSE, and not Red Hat slash Fedora slash CentOS, because those distros have corporate backing, you know. Uh, but you guys running community distros like, you know, Mint, Fedora, Debian, Arch, you know, Gen2, whatever. Uh, you, you have to come to terms with the fact that you're never going to be Ubuntu on the desktop. Um, pr precisely for the reason you're a community distro, not a commercially backed distro. Uh, Ubuntu is never going to have somebody supplant it on the desktop as the most popular Linux distro. The only ones that could do that, if they wanted to and, and put the money and effort behind it, would be SUSE and Red Hat. But those particular corporations are a lot more focused on the server market rather than the Linux desktop market. You know, Ubuntu in its early days really didn't focus much on the server market. Nowadays it, it focuses heavily on the server market, but back in the day it really it was all in on the desktop and they kind of carved out that little niche, you know, for Ubuntu. And uh you know because of commercial support enterprise solutions and you know commercial support uh, Ubuntu is just king on the desktop uh, I read news articles all the time about large corporations you know installing Ubuntu on all their machines you know hundreds sometimes thousands of installations you see that every day in, in the news you see 
large uh, government, uh, like cities and you know counties and whatnot, school systems doing Ubuntu installs, you know, throughout their, you know, city. For example, um, Munich, Germany, did a, like a two hundred thousand machine install of Ubuntu, where they switched all their computers that were running Windows over to Ubuntu. You know, two hundred thousand machines, one news article, you know, one installation. Uh, that's not uncommon for Ubuntu because of again the commercial aspect of it no one's ever gonna do that with a distro like Linux Mint Arch or what have you they're just not uh, they want a corporate backing you know to whatever you know they go with so it's all about Ubuntu on the desktop uh, it just is but anyway ran over Happy New Year, you guys. Peace.